The key to getting the wheel up and off the ground is having your strong foot forward. And right when you're at the top of the rotation, you start pulling up as you're pedaling down to pop your wheel up. So you're using your arms to pull up, lean back, and you're using your legs. I like to stand up to start my wheelie, and then I'll go to sitting down. Once my front wheel's off the ground, I like to find that good balance point, and I use the brake, I feather the brake to keep it in that good balance point movement. So I'm kind of using my pedals to keep the front wheel up, while using my brakes to prevent me from looping out. So I use my one finger, my index finger on the brake lever, and I first I feel the brakes out because everybody's brakes are different, and if they're not working very good, I'm gonna use more, more brake lever, push it more in to get the brakes where I want from not stopping. If my brakes are really good and I barely touch it and it snaps me down, I gotta learn to feather the brake. And by feathering it, I'm barely pressing the brake where I'm slowly keeping the front wheel from dropping all of a sudden and just stopping me. So I'm, I'm feathering the brake, I'm using the brake, but I'm not slamming the brakes where it's just gonna drop my front wheel down. For me, there is a specific bike setup that makes wheeling easier. Um, I know um, a lower seat might be a little harder on my knees, but I have more weight to the ground and a better balance point. But if my seat's higher up, I could actually lift my bike up easier. If I'm doing a sit down wheelie from the start, I can lift my bike up easier, but the balance point is a little harder because I'm higher up off the ground and away from my bike. Um, when my handlebars are a little more back, it tends to help me keep the front wheel up a little bit easier rather than being Chicago style and forward. Start really so, start with your front leg, your strong leg forward, start kicking your front wheel up and purposely try to loop out and grab your brakes and save yourself. So purposely try to loop out, hit your brakes and drop your front wheel and start getting used to using your brakes and then you can start move, adding on and use a curb. You can use those for the transitions from the curbs to help get your front wheel up and use your brakes and then try to start counting your cracks. Try to go, oh, I got two cracks today. And then the next time try to get three cracks, four cracks, five cracks, and just start trying to get further and further. And before you know it, you're gonna be wheeling the whole street.